Till death do us part is the assurance of longevity in a marriage for most people. But when it comes to Uma Thurman and Gary Oldman, these words held little truth. They got divorced after less than two years. What went wrong? Was it Gary's alcoholism and obsessive behavior? Or was it the 12-year age gap and the fact that Uma was only 20 years old when they wed? While Gary Oldman's talent is undeniable, the actor's scandal his personal life has always undermined his reputation. He really knows how to hold down his career by scoring big roles like Winston Churchill, Dracula, and Sirius Black in Harry Potter. But he seems to be less skilled at holding down a marriage. He has been married nearly half a dozen times, with six engagements, five marriages, and four divorces. One's head would be spinning. Oldman's first wife was actress Leslie Manville. The pair met during a play at London's Royal Court Theatre and married in 1987. They had a son together, Alfie. But in 1989, the actor made a drastic decision, moving to America to pursue his dreams. It seems like Hollywood was calling his name, and he chose to leave his wife and three-month-old son. We've had great ups and great downs. We've experienced love. We've experienced loss, grief, pain, happiness, joy, bliss, heartache, and sorrow. Like everybody, our situations are not that different. There may have been another reason for this decision, as in 18-year-old Uma Thurman. There are several possible scenarios surrounding the actor's meeting. Allegedly, Sean Penn introduced Thurman to Oldman while the men were shooting State of Grace in 1989. Another possibility would be Uma meeting Gary on set while dating the director of the film. There doesn't appear to be much backing for either of these theories. In 2014, the State of Grace director cleared it all up, somewhat unexpectedly. He said that Gary and Uma were dating while they were filming State of Grace and got married right after the movie wrapped. Either way, it does look like there was a crossover between Gary's marriage with Leslie and his relationship with Uma. She said they met in England when she was 18, which means they met in 1988 or early 1989, while he was still married. Could that be the real reason he left Leslie and his son? It didn't take long for wife number one to file for divorce because Oldman clearly wasn't taking his parental and spousal duties seriously. Manville never discussed the split, but later said he was not the perfect parent he would have people believe. He plays a small part, with the accent on the small, however much you might have read in the press about how wonderful a father he is, she revealed. The couple's divorce was quick and was finalized in 1990. Only a few months after that, the Pulp Fiction actress and old men were married. Thurman loved her husband, helping him with his diet and trying to persuade him to lead a healthier lifestyle. The actor wanted her to accept him as he was, with all his vices. By 1992, Uma has had enough. She dumped the actor via a Dear Gary letter, saying he was impossible to live with. Her final straw with Oldman was after an incident where he was arrested for drunken driving. She later said that it takes a special kind of woman to put up with him. Ouch. Their marriage and subsequent divorce coincided with the decline in the actress's career. She was careful to select her roles so she could earn respect for her skills and not her looks. Her sultry role in Henry and June had people believing this was her real-life persona. We were deluged with phone calls and had to unlist our number. People of various stripes kept trying to gain access to her through us. Weird people have fallen in love with her image. One guy from Brooklyn kept writing letters for a year. We kept ignoring them and letting them pile up. Finally, he sent a switchblade with a note that said, Is this what you want me to do? Kill myself? Shared Thurman's father, Bob. This incident and trying to make her relationship with her husband work prompted the dangerous liaison star to take a break from acting. I preferred not to work if I was going to be pigeonholed as the sexual flavor of the month. I have too much respect for acting, she said. In retrospect, both actors appear to agree that their union was a mistake. In fact, that was the exact term the actress used to describe their romance. We met when I was 18. He was 12 years older. It was a crazy love affair that ended as it needed to. He was my first love. I had no prior experience. It was a mistake. Teenage weddings are among the things that don't count, she said. This doesn't mean they completely detest one another, though. Uma still says that her ex is a truly great actor. And Gary? Well, he can joke about the divorce now. The actor is known to be overly forthcoming in interviews and spoke about his marriage to Uma a couple of times. 
Look, relationships are very, very hard. They just are. I mean, four times. I'm not proud to say it. My second one was for 10 minutes. I don't think it meant very much to either of us. What can I say about marriage? I don't know, he said. Speaking about the divorce and responding to Thurman's thoughts on living with him, the Harry Potter actor revealed that it was no picnic living with her either, but for very different reasons. You try living with an angel, he said. Uma didn't stay single for too long, beating Ethan Hawke on the set of 1997's Gattaca and marrying him a year later. The couple went on to have two children and seemed to be one of the happiest Hollywood couples. In 2005, though, they went their separate ways. Oh gosh, I haven't I don't talk about this very much. Okay. Like half of America that gets married goes through what I've just been through. There were rumors about infidelity on both sides of what the actress said in an interview. Our marriage failed. I should take full responsibility for the failure of my own marriage. But Hawk quickly shut down the rumors. Uma and I did not split up over anybody's infidelity. We had many problems before I ever went to Montreal to film, he said. The real reason behind their divorce was in fact that Ethan was too immature at the time, and he felt that he wasn't ready for that sort of commitment, especially while he was coming to terms with his fame as well. The Kill Bill actress hasn't married since, but she welcomed her third child with French banker Arpad Basson in 2012. As for Gary Oldman, it didn't take long for him to move on to his next relationship either. He met Isabella Rossellini during the filming of Immortal Beloved in 1993, and in just a few weeks came talk of marriage. By the end of that year, they were engaged. The marriage to Isabella never really happened, and the pair split up in 1996, but Oldman refused to give up on love. After the split, he moved on to his third marriage and possibly his most tumultuous one with photographer Donia Fiorentino. The pair quickly fell for one another after meeting at an Alcoholics Anonymous gathering in 1996. Within five months, they were married and Donia was pregnant with their first son. Two years later, they had their second son. In 2001, Gary was facing divorce number three. For years, he avoided serious romantic liaisons for the sake of his sons. But in 2008 came Mrs. Oldman number four. He married Alexandra Edinburgh, an accomplished vocalist, cellist, and songwriter. Alexandra was 20 years younger than Gary. At the time, the actor said, I'm not proud this is my fourth marriage, but this is a good one, hopefully my last one. Sadly, she filed for divorce in 2015, and Gary cited the age difference as the cause of the separation without further details. The then 59-year-old actor was still determined to find love. And what do you know, just two years into his fourth divorce, he married Giselle Schmidt. After several years of being together and discussing it, the actor decided to pop the question. And as Oldman revealed, he did it while in character as the former English Prime Minister, Sir Winston Churchill. There was a break in the filming, and we had, we, we had talked about it, and I just felt the urge. The couple lives with her and Oldman's sons in Los Angeles. He now shuns the red carpet and is rarely seen at parties. Even though Uma and Gary's marriage was short and seemingly insignificant to both, it is still something that the actor brings up to this day. In an interview with Playboy, he spoke about the mistakes he made early on in his career, especially with regard to being too open in interviews. Now, because of the internet and all that, people just go to the f***ing morgue, open the drawer and write, Son of Welder, once married to Uma Thurman. I'm so tired of it. I was so naive. I should have just said, I don't talk about family. Next question, he said. Now, both Uma Thurman and Gary Oldman seem to agree that their whirlwind romance was just that and nothing more. We hope that they learned from their experience, though. Since their divorce, Gary was able to take control of his life and build a healthy marriage, a flourishing career, and a wonderful family. Uma also built a beautiful family and successful career. Let us know what you think the biggest reason behind this couple's divorce was. As always, this has been Rumor Juice. Be well and be kind.